everyone, happy Tuesday. Dr. Beth Westy here. Um, I wanted to touch on gender differences in stress. In the previous video I did, I talked a lot about cell cleansing and stress and how it releases the cortisol from the body, importance is with that, everything else. Um, one thing that I really want people to understand that, and if you didn't get a chance to watch it, go back and watch it. Tons of great info on it. And I will be talking more in detail about cellular cleansing, about really flushing all that junk out of the body that just gets built up over time because it is no bueno for you in terms of your health. Um, but oftentimes people don't understand in the differences between men and women why things look different, appear different, and everything else. So this is sort of my specialty. I do, my first book is actually on the top 10 health conditions that affect women and how they present differently in women than they do in men. I have a whole chapter dedicated to stress and the gender differences. Um, <clears throat> because it is a big factor. And in my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution, which you can check out more information on my website, which is just www.drbethwesty.com, I'll include a link after the live video here for you to look at it. I do, again, have another chapter about stress, recovery, and how that is impacted because of the hormones that are different in women every week. Um, and, you know, we can talk about different phases of life and stuff with that too, but just some important differences to realize. So right here behind me on my whiteboard, now... I would like your, you know, just take, you know, I, I wrote this backwards. So that was, I was practicing this for a little bit because I know when I shoot the video myself on Facebook Live, it flips the image. So it's backwards. I've done videos before where I write backwards. So anyway, here this is for you, real time. Not backwards, hopefully. All the letters are correct. Um, but one of the things when we talk about stress, Two different types of stress I'll touch on briefly, acute stress and chronic stress. Acute stress is stress that comes on suddenly that you recover from very quickly though. So this is you know, the example I like to use is slamming on your brakes in traffic, something like that. Comes on suddenly, but your body can recover, come down from it. You, your heart might beat faster, your respirations, you know, your breathing gets faster, but you can come down from it, recover from it, and you're not going to be in that elevated state all day. Chronic stress is when you have this happen over and over and over and over again. And it can be from different circumstances. It can be from, you know, I slammed on my brakes, I was late to work, somebody didn't have the project done, uh, something happened at school with the kids, you know, this, that, and the other. It just all piles up. You get big life events with a death or something like that, and then you can start to really have chronic stress. Stress can also be brought on in humans, and we're the only animals on the planet that do this, or mammals or beings or whatever you want to phrase that says, on the planet that actually can cause the physical stress reactions in your body just from your thoughts, and they can be thoughts of something from the past, present, or future. Great. So our bodies are amazing and can do all these fantastic things, and that's one of the things that it can do. So if you've ever thought about a really stressful time that you've gone through in the past, whether it be a year ago or 20 years ago, you may notice that your breathing gets quicker and your heart beats faster and all these other like physiological responses happen because your brain is telling your body to do these things to protect itself. Good job. So that's how the body responds. That's just how it works. So it's important to recognize and understand how it works so you can reverse that process. Part of it is stopping the chronic stress cycle, and then the other part of it is getting your body healthy enough so that you have a better response, so you're not constantly going into chronic stress. You're stopping your stress at acute, and you're recovering from it. So um, I'll be talking more about that in my, some of my next videos, but one of the things I wanted to touch on with gender differences here is differences between men and women, so hopefully you can see this behind me, in their stress responses. So studies have shown that when um, men and women are under stress, Physiologically, things different happen differently and also like socially, mentally, emotionally, different things happen and they respond better for these different things. For men here, when men are under stress, they actually respond better and come out of stress when they are alone. So a stress event happens, something happens, <clears throat> and they will get tend to get angry or, you know, again, those same physiological stress responses of increased heart rate, increased respirations, everything else, but they actually come out of it better when they have time to decompress by themselves, you know, just, you know, take time, whether it be five minutes or 25 minutes or something to come out of that stress phase. Women do not respond well to stress when they are alone. They respond better to stress when they're in groups, groups of other women that are supportive. This is really, really interesting. If you look at the way women learn best, they, they do studies on how women learn math best and all these other things. They learn best in groups. And it's the same way in responding to stress. When women have the same stress, and it can be like the same external stress or whatever that's happening for women, 
But if you put them alone, they will not come out of that stress very well. If you put them in groups of other supportive women, they come out of that stress a lot better. So just kind of understanding that is, um, is really, really important. Also, if you're thinking of somebody who's under stress right now, you have a, a friend or a family member, and they're having some stress and it's a female, maybe reach out to them because women do respond better when they're around other people. So there's that. Um, physiologically in the body, men respond differently to stress. They tend to have higher blood pressure. That's HBP right there. I didn't want to write out high blood pressure because I wrote it backwards. It's backwards to me, but it looks good to you. Um, high blood pressure. So their blood pressure will increase naturally. Increased risk of heart disease. So this is, again, more chronic stress. And then also increased risk of stroke. So they have all these serious health conditions um, that, that are in this category when they are under stress or chronically stressed or have a lot of stress in their life. For women, their stress and how it manifests in their bodies, women tend to get a lot more anxiety than men. And again, this is not across the board. This is not everybody, right? This is not 100%. This is generally, and in the studies that they have done, gender differences and responses. So keep that in mind too. Um, but women tend to get more anxiety. Sometimes that leads into depression then if it's a chronic stress that happens for a long period of time. Fatigue, uh, women tend to get fatigued. And also, I will touch on this more in some of the videos I'm gonna be doing upcoming on hormones and recovery um, and how your hormones, different hormones play a different role in how fast you recover from either stress or workouts or injuries or whatnot, because it is different. So fatigue and then weight gain. Women tend to, again, that goes along with the fatigue, um, women tend to gain weight when they're under a lot of stress. And as you're gaining weight and storing more energy in those fat cells, I don't want to say storing more fat because that gives the impression that you're getting more fat cells, which that's not how it works. You have like that number of fat cells and they just blow up bigger and they store more energy. Again, our body's very adaptable, fantastic. But then that cortisol gets stuck in those fat cells. And that is what really needs to be cleansed out. So for women, if you're under stress, have been under a lot of stress, being with a group of other women is going to improve things. Working on, um, you know, there's general things that you can do for stress, of course, meditation, massage, you know, finding a new hobby, being creative. There's a ton of really great books on there on creativity and how that can help with stress and everything else. Um, really addressing fatigue, and I talk about that a lot sometimes with nutrition, uh, nutrition and the right herbs and supplements to really get your body physically feeling as best as it can. And then dealing with the weight gain, reversing that, and then releasing a lot of the cortisol that your body's been storing. So gender differences between men and women uh, with stress because it's very different. And I think an important conversation to have with people and for people to kind of recognize and understand. This may set off some light bulbs in your head like, oh, uh, that is why when this happened, so-and-so was like this and so-and-so was like this. Yes, that's why. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Comment below, message me. Um, or if you would like to know more information about a specific you know, item here, let me know and I can dive into that as well. Um, I, sometimes I tailor a lot of the information that I release. I have sort of a subject that I'll talk about for a while, but I tailor some of the details that I release based on what you guys want to know more about. Um, so just let me know, honestly, if there's anything that you want to know more information about. I love educating and releasing information like this. Again, it sort of sets off light bulbs for people. So um, everybody have a great day. Share this video with anybody that you know that is under stress and not understanding why or what's going on. And um, just, yeah, everybody have a great Tuesday.